Eric Luna. This sim is Gordon's brother. You should come back to us. Come and see your brother. This is so lovely that we've bumped into each other. <laughs> but will it be? Okay, so we're picking up things exactly where we left off in the last episode of Not So Berry. And if you guys remember, we just been invited around by Catalina, who is actually my cousin. But I think because neither of us knew how to talk when we first met, I never got a proper introduction to her, which is actually perfect because I was kind of still, because my game's on Gen 10, I'm just not meeting coworkers anymore like my sim hasn't met a co-worker in ages it's really frustrating so i was gonna do like a co-worker affair storyline for her because have to do an affair storyline as part of this not so berry and let's face it outside of your home family you know your partner the people you spend the most time with are your co-workers which is why co-worker affairs are so common so i felt like that made the most sense however i can't do that so we've gone ahead and added another mod to the game because i had so much fun with the realistic childbirth mod that i was like I need to add some more mods because this is just, it's good crack. It is, truly. So I have added the first impressions mod by Lumpy New. You guys have been suggesting this for a while, but I had so many mods that it was slowing my game down and I was a little bit concerned about adding another one, but we've gone ahead and added it anyway. This mod will add a first impression every time I meet a sim, including the option for crushing on a sim, falling completely in love with them the first time you meet them. And I thought it would work quite well for Liv's storyline of her one-time secret affair. So we'll be able to test this mod straight away because for some reason I have never met Catalina. So I'm going to go ahead and introduce myself to her. Gordon has met her. They actually knew each other since childhood, which I thought was super interesting. She's also pregnant, I believe. Yeah, I think she's pregnant. Also, we just have not watched our child. Okay. I can see those first impressions straight away. So if I go to Catalina, my first impression about her is anti-crush. Is this like at first sight a thing? Because Liv really doesn't like Catalina's overall vibe. Interesting that she doesn't like somebody that's like friends with her husband. And her first impression about me is that I am a clingy thing. Maybe because I'm a, you know, she can pick up that I've got weird vibes about her and her husband. So straight away, these guys, they're not vibing with each other very well, which I think is very interesting. I think this mod is going to be a lot of fun. Fun. Gordon's obviously used to being around here because he's gone straight into the house. He also wants to woo-woo with somebody. Interesting. Did you spend some of your childhood here? I don't know. And then we've got poor Rain, who is like this little scrunchy child who needs a wash. How many points have you got? Oh, you only got 250. Boo. I can't make you get a shower because you're not always welcome. So just wash your hands a thousand times. Oh, and you're comfortable enough here to take a bubble bath, Gordon. Mm-hmm. <gasps> And oh my gosh, look at this. He went on the PC when he first got here. Internet parent shame. The internet confirms all of your worst fears. You have been a terrible parent. There is no hope in the, of future success. Which, oh my gosh, he's literally sinking under the bath for that. Oh, that's like kind of a good coincidence because in our storyline, he kind of has been because he's struggling to connect with his children because he didn't want his children, but Liv had other ideas. So that is very interesting. Now he needs to become a friends with five Sims for his neighborhood confidante, which I've never, ever completed ever. Ever. So I think I will go ahead and like make Catalina our friend. Oh, she's having a little synchronized bath. Oh my God, what are you two? <gasps> and when he announced his engagement, she reacted negatively. <gasps> and then when he joked about marriage, ooh, uh, she's reacting negatively and she's looking heartbroken. Okay, Catalina definitely had a crush on Gordon. They're also both feeling super embarrassed. I feel like these two maybe should have been the ones that got together but Liv was like he's my man and now she's pregnant but i can't see a sign of any other sim in the household i'm not sure what's going on oh and this is uh this is all very familiar have you ever even asked to feel my babies i don't know if you have i think i invited to feel baby but oh my gosh okay we've done some influencing hopper i've not managed to make her a good friend I do kind of want to help build his little... It's like, I feel like this is like a comfort... Oh my gosh. Oh, Liv just walked by and saw that. Everyone uses this bath. Are you like really tired? Okay. She's really tired. Like she has just recently given birth. I think we should be getting her home. No, she hasn't actually. No, baby's aging up today. She's not recently given birth. She should be fully recovered from her C-section now. And yeah, these two are just very familiar very very close i feel like although she doesn't have the jealous trait i feel like her jealous streak i feel like is something that Liv would have don't forget that she was like a very spoiled kind of like you know her older sister was a lot older at that point so she did have a bit of like only child spoil 
Daddy's girl. Parents gave her everything, owned a tech startup. She lived on a tiny island. Like, I feel like it suits her vibes a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and send everyone home. And yeah, she's uh, a little bit jealous. And Rain is sweaty and miserable. Is this a sure sign that he dislikes fitness? You do have the motor trait, though. Why are you so sweaty and gross? What are you doing right now? Oh, because you're swimming in the rain, child. Like... No, although it makes me kind of want to pool at home. And why would you get home and then poop in the bush? No! Is it because, oh my gosh, literally, as soon as she gets the urge, well, she did have the urge to woo in the bush, he goes and makes it so that that isn't a possibility. I see what you're doing. Ooh, and it's Iris's birthday today. So we'll have a little birthday for her. It's also Rain's first day at school. So hopefully he's going to be able to meet some school friends. Liv has reached parent in level nine, which shows you just how much the heavy lifting she's been doing with both children so far. And I'm also hoping that another promotion is on the cards for us today. So we reach food critic level six. We Oh my gosh, be careful. We do get promotions quicker because we have the entrepreneurial trait. Oh my gosh, baby has been quite hectic this morning. Gordon, I'm cooking. You're going to have to take this. And okay, he's not getting the tense feelings as much with Iris as he did with Rain, which is interesting. Rain is at school right now. I'm going to get him to make some friends while he's at school. He's gone to school still quite scrungy and also hungry. And I feel like since Liv got moved from schools, even though she didn't want to, like when she was younger, I'm going to just keep him in regular like primary school. And then if he does really well and his grades are high, I might look to go into like a more elite secondary school. Otherwise, we'll just keep him where he is. I don't think she's as bothered as her parents were you know now that we're all recovered from a c-section we can start going for jogs again with tofu and okay gordon's gone into work maybe he'll finally get his promotion today he's a bit tense needs fun so i'm scared to make him work hard he's gone into work flirty because he walked past his wife and he's just completely in love with her still and oh speaking of love we found an unsent love letter from rain to his teacher nothing racy but we thought that you should know i feel like she's gonna be so gentle with rain this is why he kind of grows up quite brattishly so i'm gonna be like don't punish love and there's no point even trying to make connections it just doesn't work so i'm just gonna work hard instead <gasps> and i love alana alana's like my nice cousin you know she's like my bestie and she's had another performance gain from trying some samples of work <laughs> she just gets so lucky okay rain has met cheryl well done rain and we're already feeling tense look at his um yes invite over cheryl his work hours are nine till seven that's a long day for like a especially for a starting job in sim world that is pretty long why don't you go get a shower before you play with your friend because you're looking kind of scringy and i'm guessing that as soon as i speak to cheryl she's gonna be sad because this is definitely a 10 generation bug yep console about death if you've had 10 generations of sims they will be sad all the time because somebody is always dead when there's a million sims somebody is always dead yep she's having a cry in front of the mirror and we've got food on the table for you iris has returned from daycare i've got the workaholic lifestyle and I've been promoted to a restaurant rater. So I got a big bonus. I got a belittle meal interaction. Oh my gosh, she's going to be such a snob. I love her. She's so funny. I now make $110 per hour compared to Gordon's 14. And I'm now on level six of the food critic career. I'm sore from work. She's got a bit of an achy back from work. So I'm going to get her just to spend a little time with baby chicken. And then I really like, I, I need more money. I need Gordon to get a promotion because I wanted to build like a little cool outdoor gym situation here, especially if she's got a sore back from work. Sounds like she needs to, you know, work on her core. But I just don't think I've got enough money to do it. Although I do have this room inside that I'm not doing anything with. Although it's just like, you know what I think would be better to do? Let me just turn all lights on for a sec. I think this is like such wasted space right now i think it'd be better just to have like a much more like open room to come into like when you get inside the house this is cool but i think i'm gonna put it in my inventory because it doesn't really fit them does it and just have like a nicer entrance hallway like with a little area for the kids to do like their schoolwork and like some bookcases and somewhere to hang your coat and stuff no money for a gym because i've kind of spent it all but look i gave this little place and look it's got like mummy and daddy shoes and then older child and younger child shoes which i thought was really cute i wanted to get another rug to put here but we definitely ran out of budget so gordon i'm really sorry i know you're already stressed but i'm gonna need you to work really hard babes and this is his like little school friend that he's brought home from school these guys playing a little uh jungle gym moment together which is real cute i want to age up the baby so that i can stop playing in the pool because look it's like a nice hot evening and spring and everything and Alyssa wants to come around oh <gasps> i can see if she's had a baby yet perfect oh 
And no way he's been promoted. He's finally been promoted to pencil pusher. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, I can see what your first impression of. Oh, maybe children don't get it. Maybe because they met in school. I didn't get to see what their first impression was. Urgh. I'm desperate to try this mod out today. I might send Liv like to, um, is there like a kid's playground near here that I can take her to while everyone else is out and about? Because I will have some maternity leave. Oh, there is nothing. There's no community lot in this whole place. No way. Oh, there's a petrol station. And Catalina's ringing us like, I'm a dog parent. I'd love you to stop by now. <gasps> Alicia's not pregnant. That means she's had a baby. Okay, we're going to go to Alicia's house tomorrow. I have a day off work. Gordon does too, but I'm going to spend a day with Alicia. He's also still having these difficult feelings. Which child are you near right now? <gasps> rain was on the swing. It's very rain focused, I'm noticing. Uh, yeah, he's finally been promoted to Pencil Pusher. So he gets $21 per hour. He still works the same super long hours though. And he does have to work on his writing skills. So maybe I can like get him to work on that. And I can bring the kids like away for a day since he doesn't love being around them. And ooh, I think he got a present from his new friend Cheryl at school. But he thinks it's dumb because he's kind of a brat. But he's asking dad for advice and dad is going to be like, what the hell? That present was for you. No, he won't say what the hell. But he'd be like, be grateful, you know? So he's given the complete opposite advice to what the mum's giving. <laughs> and it's 10 p.m. now. Baby's crying again. Probably because it's stuck in the same body. So I'm going to go ahead and age up little Iris. I keep wanting to call the baby Liv. I'm going to age up Iris and we'll see how Iris looks. Okay, here we go. I got it in time somehow. Huzzah! Oh, okay, so she's got Gordon's brown hair and she has aged up with blue eyes, which is perfect because I'm going to give all of this gen blue eyes. She also aged up in Jedi clothes. Like, why does this keep happening to me? And she definitely wasn't as fussy. What kind of baby can I make her? She was definitely an easier baby and she doesn't annoy, like, she doesn't get under Gordon's skin as much. So I'm going to make her a charmer. And let's go ahead and check it out in Cass. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and check it out. She's got a darker skin tone than Rain. So that's a little bit of... Oh, look at the ears. Yeah, she's definitely got much stronger berry jeans than Luna jeans. She's got really piercing eyes. I might just keep those exactly as they are, actually. Let's go ahead and pop some skin details on her. I can't tell whose eyes she's got. I'm kind of leaning towards her, the fact that she has more of Gordon's eyes. Mind you that her upper lid isn't strong. I think maybe she has a different eye shape to both of them. So I'm going to give her a little smile because she's meant to be a little charmer. Yeah, and her eyebrow shape is completely the opposite to what Rain's was. She's got like a, a eyebrow slope more this way. Like a bit of a softer sort of face. And she has like a chocolatey brownie hair as well. I'm kind of going to miss the funky hair colors. I'm not going to lie. And she had the little piggies when she's aged up. So I'm kind of tempted to keep her with piggies. Because pigtails are so freaking cute. Let's face it. And oh my gosh, as soon as I put a different eye on her, I've realized how huge her eyes are. I know toddlers have big eyes anyway, but these are like very big eyes. I actually went for her original eyes in the end. I added a few flecks to them. I love that she's got the little elf ears. Like, they've stayed. Although they could also have come from Gordon's father, who was an alien. But in our, like, series, they've kind of stayed since Ash, who was, like, what, like, Gen 5 or 6? Every now and again, they pop back up, which is really cute. And we're heading into summer, so I'm going to give her, like, little a little summery outfit. So here she is in all of her little outfits. I think she's so adorable. And she does look quite different to Rain. But they are siblings. So here is the little Googie Egg. And here is how she looks in game. Immediately off to go investigate her brother's room. He's sleeping. Oh, you want the dollhouse. You know what? Maybe it's time to give dollhouse to your little sister. What do you reckon? We'll get you as another toy in here. Oh, actually, we won't. We have 600 pounds. That might be a pipe dream, but I need to get your sister a bed. And I really wanted to get her the princess bed. Can we afford it? Just me spending all of my money on, like, oh, look. See, this is why I wanted to get her a... Me spending all of my money on stuff when I don't have much. But look, she needs a chariot. Okay, she just does. Can people get in and out this room? Do I need to put this at an angle? Okay, hopefully people can get in and out. And there's actually no room in here for the dollhouse anyway. So it's a good excuse for her to go into her brother's room, which is cute. Just don't the frog oh no and i asked uh, gordon to potty train iris this morning he started to have difficult feelings to her as well because she defied him i feel like he gives up quite quickly he's meant to be potty training i don't know why he just put her between his legs very odd behavior but we're heading around to Alicia's today so i'm baking macaroons because i thought that would be quite nice look how nice they look i'm level eight and gourmet cooking check me out and once we're all done here i will head over i think she lives in brindleton bay 
So we'll head that way. I don't know what Gordon's going to do today. Honestly, Gordon, you probably need to work on your writing skill because you're going to need that if you want to get promoted. And uh, I need the money for my cool gym, okay? Oh, look at that. Proud from mentoring. She can now use the tray. The, uh, not the tray. She's not cut. She can now use the toilet but it's he's still tense he's still very very tense okay right let's go ahead and head over i'm gonna bring rain too rain who's having fun on the water slide i don't think alissi has a water slide but we'll still have a nice time okay and i seem to remember her living here no here oh here oh <gasps> where does she live oh <gasps> she's got a baby there alicia where are you oh <gasps> look that's uh gordon's brother who we've never met because he's a bit of a bad boy Maybe we need to meet him. I wish it showed you where your friends lived, like on the older Sims games. She lives in San Maishuno now. She moves to the city. Okay. Okay, she lives here. Uh, and she's not home, but I'm sure she'll turn up soon. Wait a minute. This is where Briar lived. No freaking way. What? Oh, and she is home. And okay, I swear I just saw that being haunted. Who lives there? Amy Huntington. So, oh, look, you've got a little toddler. Of course, Declan. You can play. Oh, look at her boogie. You can play with Declan, which would be so cute. Although you can't talk yet, so you can't actually play with Declan. But that is an annoying thing. I hate that toddlers do that. Like, all you can do is share the love right now. But this is your cousin, because Alicia is my sister. So say hello, share the love. I love that for some reason this child just has a spoon on them at all times. That's exciting. I like that. And no first impressions, why? It must be an adult only thing. Oh, and these guys are having a bit of a tense conversation here. Very tense conversation. And Tofu just attacked a neighbor as well. And okay, first more first impressions. Oh my gosh, she finds him extremely attractive. This is Alicia's husband. She also finds him responsible. So she's attracted to responsible sensible men now actually because she definitely wasn't when she was younger and his first impression of her is that she's emotionally expressive okay i've made a little group and we're gonna go like hang out in the city today although this is the boring part of the city without like a kid's park or anything maybe we should go to where like like a kid's playground i'm not loving this whole city vibes i've lived in this apartment before i get it oh my gosh i don't know what you guys did with it Maybe I just because I've not knocked on the door. This is nice, but we don't want to hang out here. The kids are making a mess in the hallway. Let's go to somewhere kiddie friendly. Let's go to my Shuno Meadows. <gasps> and look at this. This is why we came here. And I've realized it's a cold day. It's colder here. And you're just in your little swimming trunks. And we're really trying to pretend it's a hot day. Toddlers are taking 10 years to get here. But they're trying the hardest. And I am going to see if I bump into anyone out in the wild. <gasps> and she's in the really weird looking ball pit. Look, oh, where's she gone? There she is. You're so cute. And he's hanging out up there, but nobody else is in the park. I thought with this being a city park, there'd be like loads of people here. I've no idea why this kid's got a spoon, but I'm kind of so there for it. And it's genuinely spawning me zero townies. Zero first impression opportunities. Nobody is coming here. Not a soul. And it's cold. Okay, maybe this park was not the ideal situation. Why don't we all hop back in the car and see if we can go somewhere with a little bit more life. Okay, and this place has way more people. Perfect. Oh, and I forgot I brought macaroons. Oh my gosh, gang, 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 gang. I did the scope thing just because she's keeping an eye around. Like she's at a kid's play park. Seeing if like anyone spots her eye. She's kind of digging Kyle over here. Is he an elder? No, he's an adult. Okay. Gordon's disconnected. So she's kind of keeping, I don't know. Her eyes are sort of She's a bit frustrated with him, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. And as people come over to chat with us or do press-ups on our cookies, I can just, like, say hello to them and whatnot. Okay, our first impression about Kyle is in Dreamland. It seems to be a bit in their own bubble of imagination. Everyone thinks she's really emotionally expressive. He, She also finds him attractive. Arvav, that we've bumped into as well, is an interesting sim, but finds us clingy. Everyone seems to find us clingy. What are these vibes I'm giving off right now? Okay, another sim has found me responsible. I found them admirable. And then Eric Luna. This sim is Gordon's brother, who I know from going in cast and editing. Gordon has the evil trait. Oh, she also, oh, she finds him extremely attractive, but also untrustworthy. She can't shake the impression that they're up to no good. Better keep both eyes open. He finds her dramatic. Okay. So this is the brother that Gordon's always had, but never introduces to her because he's got this evil trait. 
and is apparently untrustworthy. Well, this is all very interesting. Tofu's eating my beautifully made macaroons. Okay, I kind of want to find out more about him. He's also feeling sad. I want to find out why he's sad. I don't know if he's just pretending to be sad. Just to like, I don't know, get under my skin. I don't know. Okay, he doesn't have any children. He is a chef level one at the old salt house. No freaking way. He's a chef and I'm a food critic. I think he's like literally Gordon Swin. I think they're the same age at least. But they don't look that similar to each other. He just likes video gaming. Gordon likes video games. Maybe sometimes Liv gets a bit annoyed that he's like playing video games when uh, he should be looking after the kids. Uh, he just likes the color orange. He's single and we're calming his like sad emotions too. Are they the same number of days left? 14 out of 20 and Gordon is 14 out of 20. They are twins. They're non-identical twins interesting interesting and he's already changed his sentiment about her to be deeply connected okay and he's cleaning up after the kids messes i feel like we should be like by the way i'm getting married to your brother did he not tell you we're gonna announce that engagement and i have a great reputation which is so funny because she could be about to uh end that one <laughs> and we've become good friends how are we good friends that quickly how oh. gordon was speaking to my cousin for ages and they didn't end up becoming good friends but we've bumped into each other at a park and we're already like good friends i'm gonna boast about my family as well okay i feel like if i cc him up because gordon's the first sim in like the line it will take us away from the park so what i'm gonna do instead is like say to alicia i've just bumped into gordon's brother like how weird is that i had no idea that he even had a brother he's never mentioned it so i'm gonna remove Alicia from the group and I'm gonna add Eric to the group and be like you should come back to us come and see your brother and come have dinner at our house this is so lovely that we bumped into each other <laughs> but will it be and I just had an absolutely massive game breaking crash <laughs> it was when I tried to travel home the game grayed my screen out but everything kept moving in the background time kept moving and it just never traveled so Thanks, The Sims. That's super frustrating. I'm gonna have to do everything like off camera that we ended up doing last episode, including aging up Iris. I will get the same CC for her and also meeting Eric. I'll bring him to the house and I'll make their relationship what it was before. And we'll CC him up next time. I really wanted to do it now, but I'm gonna have to play like three days in game again, which is so annoying. And I can't rush and do it for this video because I've got a flight to catch. So I'm really sorry about that, guys. Um, hopefully you were interested anyway in meeting Gordon and seeing where that might go if you were. Let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys in another video. Goodbye.